Hello Terraria and Fusius. my name is James and welcome back to the Calamity Mod. So today is day 14 of our death mode let's play, which now means we've been doing this for two weeks. Which is basically just two weeks of very consistent uploads and I'm very, very proud of that. So that is awesome. Now today, well today is actually Easter Sunday, but it's also April Fool's Day and I have been absolutely loving April Fool's Day. It's one of my favorite days of the year because I do like a good laugh and I like to see the effort people go to. So I obviously posted my April Fool's Day video, you might have seen it. I did a, uh, a vlog in quotations and instead of being a vlog, it was actually a video dedicated to my washing machine because, you know, you know that you know the old joke about my washing machine breaking and me telling this boring story that lasted a week about it breaking and replacing it and blah blah blah. Anyway, so I did my little vlog and you guys were, uh, <laughs> were super funny about it. I'm really glad. I'm always nervous to make jokes because I feel like people won't understand them. But, you know, I feel like 80% of you, you got it. So that's great. So my April Fool's Day has actually been awful. Like, genuinely terrible. And I'll tell you why. Because I got the worst April Fool's of all. I got scammed. And this is not a joke. I have never been scammed in my life. I am very, very cautious when it comes to stuff like getting scammed, essentially. Like, I'm not a moron, in all honesty, when it comes to this kind of stuff. But I legit got scammed. And I'm going to tell you the story in a little bit. I'll tell you later on today. Uh, so we're doing Leviathan again today. Now, I got a lot of questions about it yesterday, about why my Leviathan was so big. Uh, I don't actually know. That's not how it's intended to be. I did think when I saw it, I was like, that is way bigger. I, I think I even said in the video, I was like, wow, that's bigger than when I saw it. Um, and the, I, I believe the reason was because Team Mod Loader had an issue. So I've updated Team Mod Loader, and I'm hoping that changes it. So I got some tips from Leviathan, and I'm going to try them out. But I think if I fix the actual size of the fight... It might just help a lot, to be honest. Like, it it might just help an absolute bunch. So, I'm going to wait here. I'm going to heal up. And we'll get into this. I've got to turn on auto-pause. I don't know how many attempts this is going to take me. If I go silent during the fight, I'll play some music, obviously, as we do. Uh, but what I'm going to keep doing is I'm just going to keep fighting this thing. Because I've got a setup that I'm proud of. And, uh, and I just want to carry on. Alright, it's still huge. Why is it huge? Is it doing way more damage as well because it's huge? I feel like it is. Like a... Yeah. Yeah. There's something really wrong and I don't exactly know what it is. I don't have prefixes for enemies or anything like that. I just have the biggest bloody Leviathan going. I'm going to have to speak to the Calamity team because I genuinely don't know why that's happening. And it needs to be fixed. Alright, so I spoke to some people on the Calamity Discord. Nobody could help. Uh, I turned off all of my mods. I tried it again. I reinstalled Team Mod Loader again and Calamity again. But I just seem to have this one issue where Leviathan is huge. Now, it is literally... Well, I don't want to say literally, just in case I'm, uh, I'm being a bit of a moron. But I'm 99% I'm sure it's an impossible fight for me because of how large it is. The hitbox has also increased with the size, so I can't actually escape the hitbox of that boss, and it does 400 damage a go. So I decided I would actually enable the Heroes mod to spawn it in, and then I would activate God Mode, and I would do what one fight against it, obviously with God Mode, essentially. Because... A lot of people were telling me just to skip the boss, and I didn't really want to skip it because I really wanted to see what it drops and stuff. Because obviously I haven't done Leviathan in a very, very, very long time. But as you can see, it is too big to jump over. Like, I'm still more than in the hitbox already. So, I don't know what's causing it. It can't be of a mod, because like I said, I disabled literally every single mod that I had. And basically, as you can see, it's just its just not working out, is it? So, yeah. <laughs> I don't have any kind of, like, like I say, prefixes for enemies or anything like that. But I just didn't want to miss out on some, some fun loot, you know? Because I thought, you know, that'd be a little bit lame, wouldn't it? If I missed out on the loot because of a little bug or whatever. But after Leviathan, we'll go on and do all of the other bosses. And of course, I don't like cheating like this. I really, really, really don't. But I'm sure you guys can appreciate the fact that, like, I I, I want to I wanna actually see what it drops. Oh, my God. Okay, there we go. Leviathan has been defeated. So we have all of the items that I would have got. Uh, let's just double check. 
Okay, awesome. Right, so I'm going to go turn off this mod now, and we're going to go back to regular Calamity. Once again, I'm very sorry for this. It's not something I personally wanted to do, but I really hope you guys understand that. I, I think you will. I think you will. So we're back without the Heroes mod, so let's check out what we got. So we got a Diving Helmet, Life Jelly, uh, an Enchanted Pearl, Increases Fishing Skill. Ooh, very nice. Uh, hotline Fishing Rod, cool. Got that Hotline Bling. Uh, some crate potions, and then this, the ocean. Take care to not disturb the deep waters of this world. You may awaken something more terrifying than death itself. Very nice. So we get the Leviathan Ambergris material, equipable. You leave behind poisonous seawater as you move. 75% increased movement speed, 10% increased all damage, and plus 20% defense. You know what? There are so many accessories that only work in water, and it sucks. There are so many of them. Honestly, there are way too many. Uh, but I guess cool. And then... Yeah. Awful alchemist mod stuff. <laughs> Bin. Yeah, cool. And then we got a green tide. Summons green blasts of water from the sky. That's cool. I like that, at least. That's pretty sick. And this does seem cool. I'm not gonna lie. But the only problem is, it's just, yeah, I don't know, you just can't really use it. Wow. Oh, that's cool. You can combine all of the, the good stuff. Cosmolite bars? That's from DOG, right? Phantoplasm. That's from the guys in the dungeon? Look at that. We're well on our way to craft this. So what does it even do? A lot. <laughs> it does a lot. I'm wearing two of them, right? Am I wearing two? Yeah, I'm wearing two of them right now. Imagine that accessory when we get it. Okay, awesome. All right, so the next thing we're going to do is Golem. So I did my attempt number one, and it didn't go so well because I was kind of, you know, mocking it a little bit. Uh, but I decided before then we would make a blood orange or an orange blood, something like that. So let's, let's grab some life fruit. I want to double check that I've got everything. Let me check my souls as well. Souls. Do I have 30 of these? Yeah, I do. So what do I need? Okay, this is what I need. I need 10 Essence of Helium, Cinder, and Chaos. And I don't think I have any. <laughs> yeah, I miss the Essence of Cinder. And I can't remember where you get Cinder ones from. Oh, Sky and Storm. Right, okay. So I know where that is then. So what I need to do is I need to grab a Zerg like this. And then what I'm going to do is I'm going to go up to the sky, farm that out. And then after I have finished farming that out, I am then going to uh, make a blood orange. Okay, I got all of my uh, my essence. So let's deposit that. I actually got two uh, profound guardians treasure bags. Oh my god. Get out of here. Get out of here with them. Oh my god. Okay. Man, I say Wyvern. That's probably the first time I said Wyvern. Maybe I speak different under stress. Who knows? Right, deposit that. Let's see. Bag. Treasure bag. Awesome. Right, let's sell some of this stuff anyway. So yeah, we can now make the uh, the blood orange. So let's sell. And let's quick stack. Look at that. 23 platinum. Hell yeah, boys. Right, let's make it. It's called the Blood Orange. Awesome. So it gives you 50 extra life. Bam. So we now have 700 life. Really, really cool. Uh, and I'm also going to sell some other stuff. So I'm going to meet you guys in a minute and we're going to fight Gollum. All right. So before we begin, you guys probably want to hear the story of how I was scammed. So I'm going to set the premise up before I start the fight. So essentially, I really wanted to go see a musician called George Ezra. Me and my partner, we listened to him in the car a lot. And we were like, we would love to go see him. So the problem is, is he actually sold all of his tickets out like two months ago. And we only started listening to him again like two weeks ago. So we're kind of gutted, right? And there's actually a gig coming up tomorrow. And so what I've been doing is for the past couple of days to surprise my girlfriend, I've been like tracking all of the reselling websites. And that's where people can actually resell gig tickets if they want to. And the cool thing about these sites is they can't sell them for any higher than what they bought them for. And it's like a really safe way of doing it because these websites work with artists and stuff and they work with uh, promoters, blah, blah, blah. They, they do a lot of good stuff, right, to, to get this to work. Now, the problem with this is, is because this is such a good way of doing it, 
not a lot of people actually know about it, right? So not a lot of people actually sell their... I'm just deleting these bikes, by the way. Not a lot of people actually sell their tickets this way. Instead, what they do is they'll write tweets and they'll sell them to basically people on Twitter or people on Reddit and stuff. And what they'll do is they'll usually upsell them a little bit. So instead of like, I don't know, 20 quid, you'll pay 30 quid. You know, basically like that. Oh my god, an Earth Elemental here? Really? I don't have any Zen potions on me, unfortunately. Right, so that's that's the premise of the story. Is I was trying to buy gig tickets uh, for a concert, and what I actually happened, what ended up happening is, is I saw some guy was selling tickets on Twitter, and I was like, okay, awesome. You know, I'm super pumped. I'm going to be able to surprise my girlfriend, and uh, and so I'm like, hey, dude, have you still got those tickets for sale? And I saw that he tweeted a few other people, uh, so I was like, all right, okay, there's no chance I'm getting these. You know, kind of got it already. And he was like, yeah, dude, still still got them. You know, don't mind selling them. I'm like, okay, awesome. I'm like, right, how do we go about this? He's like, all right, well, you just PayPal me the money and uh, and I'll email them across. And he's like, and, and you know what? If, if you don't want to pay all of it, you know, pay me a little bit and I'll come meet you on the night and I'll, you know, I'll let you in. I'm like, okay, great. I'm like, look at that. He's willing to, uh, to meet me on the night and let me in. I'm like, that's ace. That's really, really awesome. So um, I'm like, cool. It seems like a, a cool dude. Uses his Twitter a lot. I'm like, okay, just a normal dude. Uh, so I PayPal him across the money for the full tickets, right? Because I'm like, this can't go wrong. I'm like, he's clearly a normal dude. It's a very, it's not a very well-known gig, you know. I I can't imagine him running a, a scam on this. And uh, and so I PayPal him across the money. And then about half an hour later, I'm kind of like, okay, well he hasn't sent me the tickets. And I'm like, all right, don't don't freak out. Maybe he's out. Maybe he's busy. Uh, so I'm looking on his Twitter and I'm looking at all these people that he's spoken to as well And these people seem like they were gonna buy tickets off him as well But you know, I'm thinking all right, maybe he didn't go through so what I decided to do was I actually decided to message The people that had also interacted with him and I'm just been like hey, did, did you buy any tickets off him? You know just double checking and he'd sold tickets to another guy. He'd sold the tickets that he'd sold to me So yeah, I got completely scammed essentially so I've got no tickets and I've lost out on a uh, 80 80 dollars 80 or 90 dollars i don't know what the conversion rate is so yeah so that was my scamming story sucks right <laughs> awful so poor george ezra if you're watching this if you're a terrari fan now you know uh and if you'd like to invite me along uh i'm, I'm more than available <laughs> but anyway that, that just sucks right so there you go guys never buy your uh gig tickets off some random or on twitter be a little bit smarter than me i've never been scammed in my life I feel like an absolute idiot, and they can't recover my money, because that's the way PayPal works, unfortunately. So, yeah. <laughs> so, yeah, there's my story. Pretty awful, right? So that's why my April Fool's was, uh, was horrible. Okay, let's use, uh, Rage. Oh, I lost out on all that Rage. Yeah, I'm gonna lose this, aren't I? Yeah, this ain't, this ain't working for me. Unless... Unless I get really lucky here. This is not gonna work at all. I feel like I'm even worse now than I was a couple of days ago. It's weird Because you can tell but I'm building up rage so quickly. Oh No, no, no ah! Oh God, is this possible? I'd have to get super lucky. Oh <laughs> I was so close. I was so close. I'm gonna do that again okay. <laughs> I'm so close I can't believe it. All right, I'm ready for uh, round three. Let's see how this goes. I didn't get my heart attack buff, so uh, so yeah. But you know what? I feel like I am. Uh, I feel like I'm ready for this. Okay. Boom. All right. Okay. Let's just rage it up while we can. May as well. May as well get it out the way. Okay. Right. Now's the real stuff, which is gonna be regening mana, I guess. That's where the majority of this fight is going to come from. <laughs> I kind of like this because you throw out all these little arrows and then by the time you've actually ran out of mana, it's already giving you like a little bit of health, which is kind of cool in a way. Although I'm really, really bad at this. <laughs> like, let's be honest. I'm just not, yeah, I'm not with it today. I feel like it's my, uh, it's my disappointing day that is uh, making me not with it. I'm not going to lie. Oh, God. Uh, okay. All right. Yeah. That's it. Right, I'm going to end it there, guys. I hope you've enjoyed today's episode. Not my finest work, but yeah, I've had a, a pretty miserable day. I'm not going to lie. 
Yeah. So yeah, I've just not been. Yeah, I just had a, a proper miserable day with my little scammer. So I am gonna end it there. But uh, I'll see you all tomorrow anyway, at least, and I'll be a little bit better. But yeah. All right. Thank you all for watching, and I'll see you in the next one. Peace.